piece of pottery. White, probably 19th century. Perfect job, I'm not really sure. Glue's on both sides, no pattern. So I think that'll be some sort of small pot or something. Well, we have out of this all 24 piece of muck. I've not, let's uh, reveal this piece of muck and see what's in it. Throw up a bit, three pence. Uh, another ball of muck here. What's in this? Must be in this bit. Yep. There it is. Throw up a bit. Another one. I've got the key to the wardrobe. I've just got to find the wardrobe now. One key, probably 19th century, for the use of. Uh, 17. Not what we want though, but there you go. More key to it now. 25! Oh! Yeah, another George III. Half penny. Definitely a George V. Penny. Yeah, that'll. Yeah. Probably 1920, 30, something like that. Right to that hole, which was 35. 35, there, 35. It's a big belt of some kind to wash it up. That's quite a big one. Look at that. I'm not sure which period. But that is one big belt. Keep going though. Prefer. Plenty of copper coins. See what happens. Just down there, we can see a coin. Okay. Oh, it's a buckle. Seventeenth-century buckle. Out of there. Aha. Twenty. Hmm. Got a piece of muck out. Seventeen. Shall we reveal this? What is it? Here's a coin. Oh, there. Uh, it's Victoria. What is inside here? Here we go. Must be in this one. Ah, there you go. It's definitely a coin. I think. Ah, oh, that's a bit different. What's that? I'll be able to tell. Bit of silver. Don't look like good like, but it's a silver sixpence. 1861 shilling. Not in good nick though. But there you go. Pretty good, but there you go. Shilling, silver. I love a bit of that. I'm always happy with silver. Well, out there was 23. Not sure whether it's a coin or what. Look at that. Right, look.